Okay, so this is pretty straightforward, self-explanatory from what I'm aware of. This plugs into that. Then those two plug into these two. This runs up under the frame or wherever you decide to run it into the cab, which is right here. And then you control your thing, you can put that wherever. And this small line with the red and black, it, my guess is run to the battery because I don't see any other battery cable and this is definitely long enough to make it up there. <coughs> so, I need to decide how I'm running this. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing today is taking the doors off and pulling the spreader back to where it needs to be and putting the thing on my bobber on and strapping it down. You have got to be freaking kidding me. I just did something I said I would never do. I was chipping it off and kind of messed it up. Property of Brickman. I bought a Brickman spreader. I have a picture of it. Unchipped off. Property of Brickman. I would have offered him a lower price if I known it was owned by Brickman. Ace is calling. All right, got the wire run into the cab and stretched somewhat tight to the back. There's still about three feet, probably, of extra. Go hanging down here. Or wire this up neatly with everything else. I'd hit my camera. No, wrong way. Once I get between the frame here, I can sit up, don't even have to bend over.
and my phone's ringing. I'm trying to find a place to zip tie this so it stays away from the exhaust and everything else that it shouldn't touch. Okay, the plugs are on the left side, but I'm gonna run it on the passenger side because I wanna come in, I don't wanna have cords running through the driver's side. So I'm, and there's plenty of space. So I'm running it through this hole in the frame. I'll run up along the frame now. Ow. Hit my head on the spreader. Well, that thing's got grease on it. I'll zip tie it to make sure it doesn't ever get up in between here because that would be the end of it. And right here is where it's going to come through. If I can even fit it through that. That ain't gonna fit, so I'm gonna have to slice a little hole here with the grinder and run it through unless I can find a bigger one. I don't know, that's not any bigger. I don't doubt that goes up. Or, no, nah, dump control runs through over there. Let me take a peek up front here. Oh, right there, there we go. Man, this is why my truck stinks. All right, I'm running the battery line now. It's actually the perfect length of a dump truck here. I thought it was going to be super long.
I isn't even gonna be long enough. Yeah, it's not going to be long enough. I'm going to have to add on to this. Okay, so Skippy, the fellow I bought it off of, ain't his real name, decided not to give me the battery cable uh, by accident or on purpose. I really don't know. That's beside the point. But if I want it, I have to drive all the way down to Philly, and I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go to Advance. If I can't get this connector, I'll buy a connector and two battery cables and run them to the front. It doesn't have to be that exact connector. I'm going to take this with me. Alright, so it's working. I dumped a bag of salt in it. I'm going to set the camera up here so you can see. It's a 50 pound bag. It's not much. It makes like nothing in that shredder. Let's try it a little bit. I'll spread it. I'll spread the entire road width. Sweet. Perfect. 